sets in six. What we're going to call is this linear combinations and linear independence. And that's to, uh, related to span. Let's let M and N be an element of R, oh, excuse me, be an element of the natural numbers. And then we'll say, let's let A1, A2, all the way to AN be an element of RM. Could you guess what that means? So let's go ahead and look at this. What is A1? How big is that vector? M by 1. Well, maybe because it's the first vector, maybe we call this A11. Could you guess what in the second row of that vector? A, be careful, rows come first, then columns. Then we'll call that A21. Then we'll go all the way down to what? How many total rows does that thing have? M of them. So this last one would be AM1. Let's talk about the next one. Let's talk about A2. Let's talk about A2. Yeah. What's A2 look like? A12, because it's the second column, right? <coughs> What's that? Matrix multiplication? No, no, no. Let's not get there yet. What's the second one? 2-2. Two, two. All the way down to how many rows? M2. This is going to be an m by 1. Let's talk about the kth column. Could you guess what the kth column is? A, one, k. A, two, k. Yeah, Ryan. Um, why would those be separate columns? Aren't they just separate column vectors that all have one column? Sure. Would you allow me to label them as such? Am I allowed to label them like that? Yeah. Do, do I get the information? Do I get that this now is the second vector? What am I doing? I'm making a, a, a very explicit connection between what you're doing in linear combinations and what you will be doing in matrix vector multiplication. They are the same. And when you see linear combinations for the first time, why don't I use notation that makes it quite easy for you to jump to conclusions about that statement. <laughs> What's the last one? You're right, that perhaps I should label them differently. But if I label them differently, that connection is now left to my students. I don't want that to be left to my students. I like the math that comes up and hits me in the face and says, this is what's true. I don't want the math that's in the corner like, No, no, I want it to be blindingly obvious so that I cannot help but understand that mathematics. And that notation is in that spirit. All right, what do I have? What did I start with? Yeah, I am insane. <laughs> yeah, it's called many, many years sitting in a room by myself thinking about mathematics and falling deeply in love. Now, the real question is, why does my wife stay with me? That's the real question. I haven't figured that one out yet. But <laughs> Okay, so we go, how many vectors do we have here? N of them. How big are they? m by 1. So each of them is, has m rows and one column. How am I denoting the different vectors? Well, the first one, the first sub-index is always going to represent the row number. The second sub-index is now going to represent the vector number, which ends up being a column when we get there. We're not there yet, though, right? It's almost like you've discovered matrix vector multiplication for yourself. <coughs> the way math, math should be taught. Well, at least by me. Let me not oppose that to anybody else. Could you guess what x1, x2 to xn is? Scalars. Then, a linear combination of the vectors. Which vectors will I combine? Well, which vectors do I have? A1. A1 a2 all the way down to an is a vector <coughs> b element of r m such that b is equal to x1 times 
A1 plus X2 times A2 plus da -da 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 plus Xn times An. What is a linear combination at its heart? A vector. What's a linear combination at its heart? A vector. The output of a linear combination, <coughs> the output is a vector. What do I need to be given in order to define a linear combination? A set of n scalars and a set of n vectors, each vector of which is of size m. What was the matrix vector multiplication problem? I was given a set of n column vectors, each of which was size m by 1, and I was given a set of x, or vector x, that had n coefficients, it had n scalars, and then I multiplied a times x to get the vector b. Whoa. What is a linear combination at its heart? A vector. How do I form that vector? I take n scalars, each of size 1 by 1, and I take n vectors, each of size m by 1, and I multiply the first scalar by the first vector. So that, what operation is this? Scalar vector multiplication. Then I multiply the second scalar by the second vector. Then I multiply the kth scalar by the kth scalar. And I go on and on and on to the break of dawn until I get to the nth vector, which I multiply by the nth scalar. And then I do all the additions, which are, what type of addition is this? Vector, vector addition. Why is it vector, vector addition and not scalar, scalar addition? Yeah, because a scalar times a vector is a vector. So now I add all those up and I get a right-hand side vector b, which we call a output, also known as a linear combination. Yeah, go ahead. What size must be b? I'm so glad you said this. What did I say? Haley Joe Osmond sees dead people. What do we see? Dimensions. And what did I say about just seeing dimensions? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you dare do that. That's called being a lazy mathematician, and I don't allow that in my classes. What's my claim every single time you see a vector equation until now, until your hands are, are scarred and hurting? Right. Write them down. And then when they're scarred and hurting, what am I going to say? 10,000 more times until you can't help but see dimensions. And then, only then, when you're dreaming dimensions, then you can stop writing them. Okay, how big is this one? M by 1. How big is this one? M by 1. All the way down to M by 1. How big is this one? 1 by 1 times an M by 1 is a M by 1. So now this entire thing is in M by 1. How big is this entire thing? M by 1. How big is this entire thing? M by 1. Now I add a bunch of M by 1s, what do I get? So how big is the vector B? Did you need me to tell you that? If you write down all your dimensions, then you never need a teacher, right? But if you don't write down all your dimensions, what are you asking? Mm, well, yeah, you're, you're letting me keep my job, right? Which most teachers like. <laughs> but in my case, I want to fire myself. I always love it when my students go on and say, you know, that experience that I had in what Math 1B or 2B, I've now taken four linear algebra classes and I use it professionally in my career. Thanks for that. Then you don't need me anymore. Oh yeah, come back and tell me about that, by the way, because I want to talk to you about the type of... When you do that, if you do that, tell me about the type of math you're doing. <laughs>